what's up welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Marjolyn and today I'm with Noemi hi you guys have not seen her in my channel before this is my first video filming with her I just noticed I have my glasses on and I see them off <laughs> anyways you guys have not seen Noemi before she is my other best friend we just decided to drive around to see and sing yeah, she is not a fan of BTS, so I just thought, might as well. I already have a headache. Oh, mariachi. Yeah. That's what they're saying. Mariachi? And mariachi. What the heck? Yeah. I need a high in the internet, and I go into the guy. I need a corner. Down the corner, so. You're not the guy. What are your opinions so far on the music? Is it super lit? Hella lit? <laughs> it's boring lit. <laughs> I, you I don't like, like it? I like the beat. I just don't like them singing because I don't understand what they're saying. Uh, the I told here, my mom. I told her. Next time I get a tattoo, I want you to come with me. Even though she doesn't want to because she, she doesn't want me to get another one. But I'm still, I'm still. You have a tattoo? Yeah. It's on my... It's on my side. I have a question for you guys. Let's say hypothetically you have a boyfriend and your boyfriend decides to get friendly with one of your other friends. But but that's just like pretty much it's kind of like his personality. And you know that that's his personality. Would you guys get mad? Like would you get upset? Even if you know that that's how he is. Yes. And he's not gonna change. Would you yes. get mad? Yes. Explain. Yes, because he can't be doing that if you're together already. Okay, like, but he's friendly. That's just his personality. No boy, he could be friendly with me. He doesn't have to be friendly with nobody else. And then, uh -huh. if you could, would you go back to an ex? Like, <laughs> if you could go back in time uh -huh. and now do fix, what I did? Yeah, like fix what happened. Would you try to fix it? I think past me, what if I didn't meet my boyfriend now? Like, I don't know. Honestly, I, I think we would if we would have fixed it, but it still would have been like an on and off thing. Like, it would be constantly. Yeah. It wouldn't be a good relationship. How about you? Would you fix with um, the other guy? I think, like you said, like past me would try to fix yeah. But not with present him <laughs> past me went through a lot with past him i was that i guy, was stupid too like i'm not gonna lie I mean, i'm mean, i part of the reason yeah. why we stopped talking like it, it is it is my fault like i'm not gonna be like it was all on him it, it wasn't it was on me too yeah like, okay, it was it was half and half you. like it wasn't just me like i feel like it was half and half it's funny because noemi gives me a lot of because if something happened okay let's let's try to put it in simpler terms i started dating dating this guy and i kept it from her not even four it was probably like three months like three to four months i yeah, kept uh -huh. it but she did something too like let's say <laughs> she she went back to her ex but it was like a one-time thing whatever no strings attached and she didn't tell me until like almost a year later so she kept that from me for a year and I got mad at her. I brought it up. She didn't even tell me. I found out by someone else, which is the worst part. The only reason I kept it like to myself was because I regret it for the rest of my life. I don't want to like talk about it. Like I didn't tell nobody. Like nobody. Lies. You told someone. That okay, someone but wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. That someone told someone else and then that okay, someone told let me. <laughs> Moral of the story is don't trust anyone. News <laughs> spreads fast. The point is I kept something more longer than she exactly did. And, and i'm still mad at uh, the only reason i'm more exactly. mad why are you that's my question okay the only let's confront <laughs> let's let's have a confront conf <laughs> confrontation right now at the red light why do you still get mad <laughs> if i don't get mad over what Our you picture. did the only reason i get like mad at, over the whole subject of her was because they were both my best friends and they didn't tell me like it was like going down <laughs> They was, both kept it away we, from me. Like, not even single one of them told me, oh, you know, I'm talking to Marjorie. I think if they would have told me at the beginning, I would have been like, oh, you know, I'm fine with it. Okay, so other question. If you could go back in time, would you not do what you have done? Yeah, like totally. Yeah? Yeah, like I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I totally regret it. I'm sorry if you're watching this, but regret <laughs> it. Dude, I really want a tattoo, like a small one. 
I just don't know what. I want it behind my ear, but I feel like that's gonna hurt really bad. So we're gonna, gonna see puppies. Yeah, we had a pit stop. We're a gonna detour. see. Detour. We're gonna. See, yeah, we had a detour. We're gonna go see puppies. So we'll see you guys inside. <laughs> Clubbing with my ex. <laughs> it's See? not even like that. Okay, okay wait. Like, that sounds. <laughs> yeah, that sounds so bad. Taken okay, out of wait, context. Wait, wait. If you see it from her point of view, it looks weird. Like, yeah, I'm going out with your ex, <laughs> clubbing. No, but I'm. But mean. but if you look at it from my point of view, I've known this guy from middle school, just like you have. But he was my best friend, first. and he's yeah, first before they dated. Like he was my friend, and I've known him for such a long time. That it's not even weird for me to go out with him. I mean, she wants me to go, but it's gonna be awkward for me. I might take my car just in case because you guys take forever to leave. The first my sister goes home at like seven in the morning. No, exactly. The first time I went clubbing, I think I got home at six. No, the first time I went clubbing with you guys, I got home at like four thirty, almost five. That's early. <laughs> and my mom almost killed me. <laughs> I think if I ever wanted to cheat on my boyfriend, I would have to break up with him. So you wouldn't cheat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you don't want to be with somebody, yeah. you just break up with it and you could do your own thing, you know, later on or whatever. Hey, I did that once. So story time again. <laughs> I was talking to this guy for like two weeks, more or less. And oh he asked me out <laughs> on like a Thursday, I think. And my prom was on Saturday. <laughs> And I said, yeah, because, like, you know, I was feeling it. He was nice. We went on a date on, I think, <laughs> like, the day after or the same day that he asked me out. I don't remember. That was my first date. That was the first time I ever, like, went out on, like, a date, whatever. I did not have a good time. <laughs> like, as soon as I got home, like, I told him, I'm like, hey, I'm not feeling it. Like, I know, <laughs> I know we're, like, going out and this is our first time, like, going out as, like, a first couple. Of all, he made you pay. And yeah, he made me pay. But what if you didn't have enough money? He didn't have enough money, and luckily no, but like, I had he, enough. If you money. didn't have money, I, we wouldn't have been able to watch the movie. I would have been movie. like, "Wow, bye, I'm leaving." But yeah, point is, I paid, so that was already like my big sign. I mean, I don't believe that guys should always pay. Yeah, yeah, same, same. But then, I mean, at least have enough to pay for yourself. Like, it's just weird if I have to pay for you. So whatever, like that's not even the point. That's not even why the date went wrong. And I went home and I told him, like, I was like, oh, like, look, hey, I want to be honest with you. I'm not, I wasn't feeling it. Like, I think, I think we should break up. Like, I don't think we should this be together. This was like a one day, not even this 24 was, hours. Yeah, it was like in one day. No, it had been 24 hours. <laughs> Boy. We broke up literally like 24 hours after we started like officially dating. Like, we broke up and my prom was the day after. And, you know, I just want to say that I'm glad I broke oh, up I with him. <laughs> yeah. I was like, prom, what's so bad about prom? But then I forgot what happened. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah in prom, I did <laughs> kiss someone else. So, you know, it Me was too. a sign that it was a sign. <laughs> it was a sign that it wasn't going to work kiss out for us. Boy. Um, but yeah, I don't want to say that I knew I was gonna kiss someone else during prom night. Boy, that was super obvious. It's just okay. You guys were like in love with each other, and you didn't want to say shit. Okay, I we I'm so mad over that because they would have made like a cute ass couple, you know. It wasn't my fault. Okay, technically, it really wasn't. It wasn't my fault. Yeah. What's like the main feature that you look for in guys? Like when you first meet a guy, what's like the first thing that you look at? Either their smile or their lips. For sure. For sure, my dude looks at their nose. 
<laughs> no way. Mine is not the nose. I look at the smile and the eyes. And, and the may nose. And maybe the eyebrows. Can you drop the nose? Can you just let it go? Yes. We're home. We made it back. We drove and around. And I wasted like half of my gas. That's all for today's video. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed all the tea that we spilled. Yeah, make sure you turn on your post notifications as well. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.